in this video we will talk about five mental illness that every developer every programmer faces in their career and how they can get rid of this mental illness even if you are not facing any of this mental illness how you can take precaution so that you do not fall in the trap of all this mental illness Before getting started about this five mental illness, this serious discussion, please, please like this video because my grandma told me if I don't get 300 likes in this video, she will put some emotional stress on my keyboard. So please help me save this keyboard and like this video. The first mental illness that we will be talking about is called imposter syndrome or you can call it some kind of anxiety. And this happens every developer, every programmer for their first job. Whenever you are just a fresh developer or just get out of the college and now getting into the first job, you will feel some kind of anxiety that you are not good enough. You would not be able to perform this job or they will know that uh, that technology that you put on the resume, you are not good at those. So don't feel that way because pretty much every developer, even your boss, senior or tech lead, everybody started their career with very minimum amount of knowledge. And they know that you will not know everything when you start the job, rather you have the ability to learn. So whenever you feel like you are not capable enough, just talk to your manager or talk to your colleague or your tech lead that, hey, I will definitely be able to do it, but give me two, three days so that I can recap the memories. That means you are taking some online courses and finishing up over the weekend and then you come back with muscle power so whenever you feel this kind of you are not good enough or you are not fit just take some extra time talk with them and then maybe tell them to give you some kind of overview and show them if you are open and positive about what your current situation is and they will help you number two mental illness that developer or programmer faces is called stress and the stress come from a lot of different cases one could be because of the deadline and pretty much every organization, they have some set deadline that this product has to be shipped on that particular day. And in reality, most of the cases, we set some a very ambitious goal that will be finished like all this product feature in four weeks or five weeks. But when you start the product, maybe your requirements are not there. Maybe some developer got their wedding or some reason they were not able to do the work. And now you are kind of in the last moment. So before getting into this stress when you get the early sign that okay this is getting off track share that share your uh, current understanding that uh, we are falling little bit behind ahead of time so that management can take some preventive measure if needed they can take out some of the features maybe they will cut off some part of the products and you can only finish this amount of top instead of that many to meet the deadline or they can extend the deadline as well so whenever you feel some kind of stress on the deadline definitely share with the management and also at the time of time estimation because before we start we we always have to keep a little bit bandwidth up like a couple days in case you are not able to get some kind of requirements of the design done from the designer or the customer so have some little bit bandwidth in your estimations and that's where you would be able to reduce the stress number three mental illness comes from the personal life because everybody has some personal issue maybe some family issue maybe they feel some kind of loneliness or maybe they have some kind of uh, previous memory they want to get rid of their ex-girlfriend's memory or some other cases and these are reality and an stack overflow survey every year pretty much close to seven percent developers feels this kind of situation so whenever you have some kind of like a personal issue and try to kind of like uh, talk with it with your close friend so that you can control this kind of stuff kind of like even after the work try to go to a like a happy hour or maybe over the weekend go to some barbecue party maybe outside of work you just talk with your colleagues with like your fun things or the video games you are playing this kind of like you know make you as a part of their team and make you to build some friendship because if you don't communicate other than the coding coding all day you would not be able to 
kind of have a, like a peaceful mind when you come back from your work and also always have some exciting stuff at home maybe you watch some videos maybe you play some video games or maybe you do some other activities so that you are pretty much engaged in your life number four is depression and you could fall depression for a lot of cases it could be personal reason it could be work related for example you are working hard all day and all night and your manager is taking the credit or the sales guy taking the bonus out of this project and you are left with the four or five bucks and in that case you maybe feel like unrecognized or maybe pissed off or you can fall into depression based on this situation happens again and again again and again whenever you feel like this definitely you should speak out that okay this is what is happening again and again and definitely it has to be equally shared whenever you speak up in that case a lot of people in the top management will take care if you don't speak up they will always ignore you and this happens not only at the workplace it happens everywhere in your personal life in your friend circle and everywhere so whenever you make some mistakes and you feel a little bit uh, sad and then you hold this for a longer time it, it has multiple layer and eventually developed a depression so whenever you fail something or you feel sad try to shake this away as quickly as you can in that case you just do a like a fresh start immediately and maybe move on to the next thing and if you feel really unrecognized or depressed in a team maybe you move to another team or you switch the job so that you find a better workplace and maybe you can do a better work life balance from the different job so try to make sure that you take care of your sadness immediately and move into the next thing number five is called attention disorder and it has a fancy name called like an adhd like attention deficit hyperactive disorder and this happens like you cannot hold the attention for a long time and this could happen due to a lot of things maybe you are depressed maybe you are lonely maybe you have some other sadness or you are pissed up on your manager or some your colleague and you cannot concentrate for a long time and this is a very common if you grow as a developer you will face this kind of uh, disorder and in that case just take a break maybe have a simple walk maybe go outside and have a fresh lunch or maybe after work go for a gym or have plenty of water or maybe talk with some old friend whatever you do because a lot of things like stressed over on your head or on your thinking and this thing adding up to have an attention disorder on you these are the five mental illness that you can face or any developer could face so if you are facing any of these definitely share with your friends or colleagues if you are comfortable with that but if this mental illness grows beyond your control definitely definitely seek help from professionals there are professional doctors or other professional people who can guide you and walk you away from this mental illness and i'm sure every mental illness is treatable and take care of yourself and your illness and i'm sure you will do really really well if you watch this video until this moment please please like this video because i need to save my keyboard from my grandma and you should subscribe to this channel and finally you should go to the app store and download this awesome app called programming hero